The first thing that we're going to have to do before we start jumping into building a lot of things is to make sure that our surface is hydrologically correct. In order to create or determine surface flow patterns, we need a continuous surface. Sometimes we get a really clean surface and sometimes we get something full of pit holes impeding the flow of water causing Ike Hydro to misinterpret the surface. So one thing that I should mention about Arc Hydro is that it's not going to know where all the storm drain inlets are. So as we process this information, keep in mind that if there is a storm drain inlet running underneath the road, it's not really going to catch that, especially if the digital elevation model such as this one didn't take that under consideration. And we can kind of see if we zoom in here a little bit that the road is still inside of, or, or the um, road is still on this DEM. So the drainage is probably going to stop right here and then the next one's going to start on the other side. There is a way where you can manually put in this, the, um, a pour point here so that it can calculate that. So I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. So what we are going to do is use something called fill sinks to condition our digital elevation model. And the reason why we're going to use that particular tool is because we don't really have any ponds inside of here, so we don't need to use any of the tools involved um, for ponds. And just knowing how that this information was collected, it was collected using LiDAR information, is quite possible if we cut a section through here, or if we cut a section, not really a section, but a profile, along one of these drainage lines, it may look something like this, where we have a little hole here, and then maybe it goes up, and then another little hole here. It's pretty common to have something like this, where it's just a little bit irregular. So when Arc Hydro tries to go to determine how many cells are draining to a point, it may see this as a pond area, another pond area, when in reality it's just a straight drainage line that just comes down. So that's what fill sink is going to allow us to do. Fill sink is going to allow us to fill in these here so that we just have a straight continuous surface and none of these pit holes going on along our surface. So that's our goal of fill sink is to basically make this a continuous surface. So if we take a look inside of our Arc Hydro toolbox over here on the left side, we can see that we have a lot of tools here and the one that we're going to be interested in is the terrain processing tool and the DEM manipulation. So all of these here might be collapsed for you. So it's this one that we're interested in this DEM manipulation. And you can see that there is a lot of other tools here that allows us to kind of um, recondition our digital elevation model. And I'm not going to cover each and every single one of these tools, but again, this is the fill sink is the one that we're going to use. If you are interested in learning about these other tools, I recommend purchasing David Maidman's book that he has written or taking a look at some of the online documentation and reading about how some of these other tools work.